Teachers of Reddit, what have your students accidentally sent to you when they meant to submit an assignment? Serious. I once sent my English professor a rough draft instead of the final draft of my paper. Like a very very rough draft, which I had saved as N201. F face underscore Milton point doc so as to not mistake it for the final. He titled his ML about it F face Milton. Three reasons not to submit your paper at 2 o'clock in the morning. And was real cool about it. A student sent me an entire folder full of Ricky memes instead of her assignment. My name is Reginald. Akaragi. I was convinced it was on purpose. Thought she hadn't done the assignment. So she decided to mess with me. But when I mentioned it to her before class. I just saw her face shrivel up in a mixture of horror slash embarrassment slash who knows what else. She had done the assignment just fine. We printed it out later. But this whole situation was so absurd. I saved the folder OFC. One of my college teachers tried to send her colleague an email, but accidentally sent it to one of my classmates. It was a picture of two sloths hugging. Not exactly turning in an assignment, but I once had a kid that was working on some research for a project come to me and tell me he couldn't find the website he was on the day before and needed to get back to it. Figured I'd just check Chrome's history and make quick work of it while looking like a computer genius. 8th graders are pretty damn computer illiterate for having grown up with them in their hands 24 over 7. Well, this kid had apparently logged into his Google account on my classroom laptop and turned on sync to load his extensions from home. It's a common way students manage to download certain extensions that allow them to get around the school's web filter. He also learned that day that it syncs your web history, because as soon as I scrolled down to the yesterday part of the history, I was met with a barrage of fub entries to a bunch of Anin Pon, and thus I now knew exactly when this young man was polishing the dolphin the night before. College student here. Accidentally sent my smutty fanfic to my communications lecturer. He was a legend though, marked it up, and called it horrifyingly fascinating and creative. Gave me 98%. Ha it was the opposite way around for me, was a tar in university, marking assignments. Girl ICQs me, and basically asks me out, which pretty much never happened. Thing is, I was completely not interested, and since I was usually the one on the other side of the rejection, I think I took like 2 hours, to write her a reply, to try to let her down easy. Anyways, stupid rookie mistake, I was almost passing out, when I got back to marking, and at some point I ctrl ved whatever I had been writing to the girl, to break up with her into the comments one on other questions I was marking and didn't notice. Usually I copy and pasted cookie cutter mistakes from a notepad to make fast. Anyhow, thankfully it wasn't anything crazy. The dude I broke up with made some smart ass remark about how I shouldn't reject him just cause he was bad at matrix manipulation. But I thought it was funny. Another reverse, but in undergrad I accidentally submitted my final paper with the notes on it from previous drafts. My drafting process, like most of my life, involves a lot of profanity. My professor was understanding, but asked for clarification on whether I was calling the reader or the paper a refs little b. One of mine in middle school sent me what looked like a copy pasta about how, if you arrive at the train station at 10 o'clock tomorrow, you will get a free puppy and a balloon. My first thought was that she was getting catfished and she wanted to tell me about it. I immediately confronted her in the hall and she laughed and said were you thinking of going to the train station? She had typed it out and thought it would be a hilarious prank if she could get a teacher to wait at a train station to get a free puppy. Memes. Just so many memes. Like an overwhelming number. They attached a zip file full of memes instead of a file folder with a couple of docs and a ppt for a project. The memes were pretty good, though. One time I had a professor send out an email to the whole class, addressed to another professor with an attachment, called test to answer guide, it was a Rick roll. Pretty regularly I get stream of consciousness fretting in essays. The society of ancient Rome was much like ours, except that f chef I'm not going to finish this etc. Always worth a laugh. Wasn't an accident, but a student of mine sent a paper she wrote to one of her other teachers about why she should be allowed to wear jeans to her final presentation. A full, three page, written paper to convince her teacher. It was epic. I still have a copy. 
ex-college professor here. I got slash fanfiction in place of an essay once, prior to turn it in. It wasn't my ship, but it was really good. When the student realized the next day, I lied and told her I hadn't opened the document yet. I didn't want to make her feel self-conscious or regretful about her writing. I had a student accidentally send me the screenshot of a snapchat with me in it. They had made me into a jazz band meme. Loramipsum etc, except I'm pretty sure it was on purpose, as when she submitted the correct version it was mostly plagiarized. Think the Laura Mipsum submission was just a cover for the fact she didn't have her work done. Not the teacher but the student. Attached my family Christmas card update letter instead of my personal statement for applying to uni to my guidance teacher. He ignored it. Root. Not the most exciting. Was grading math homework and a student had accidentally submitted an image of another student's Spanish homework. I left a comment in Spanish saying that cheating was a no-no. I accidentally uploaded a court document made up by my attorney when I made a stupid mistake to telling some things about my case, minor, but incredibly embarrassing. I asked her if she could delete it from the system I uploaded it to and she couldn't, but she promised she didn't read it. She probably did. She had done me a great kindness earlier that year so this was morbidly embarrassing. Drafts versions of their papers can be hilarious, especially students who use square brackets to fill in their thoughts later. I receive a lot of papers with things like consequently, healthcare in Canada became a whatever dumbass system she mentioned in class, and wait times are due to a combination of factors, including blah blah come back later. A student once sent me three memes about Lean instead of his history essay. They were funny. I still called his mom. Not that terrible, but for electronic assignments, I've had several students accidentally send me their classmates work. Allegedly, their classmate had to use their computer. Interestingly, the files were completely different, except for the owner metadata, which clearly marks who worked on what file. Word. 20 years ago I was taking a course by video, and we had to mail assignment in at the end. All my course ilk was in one of those paper folders with the three hole punch binder strip inside. I anxiously awaited its return, so I could see my grade and all the feedback. As I was flipping through the return folder I came upon a line graph, enlarged and copied on a copier, and filled out by me, by hand. The only feedback on it was a small red question mark in a circle. It was one of my ovulation charts, complete with daily morning temps and little hearts where we had attempted baby making. It was from the box my basal thermometer came in, and it was titled, and absolutely crystal clear what it was. I cannot even imagine the reaction of the person grading my stuff. No f I clue how the f I managed to slip that in there. A coming out letter meant for her parents. For context, she was the first generation Chinese girl from a very traditional family who now live in North America. This is a big deal. Very brave on her part. She sent it in the morning and did not show up to school. It was on the school email server, so you could see if people had open slash read attachments. The letter was honest and beautiful, I was moved to tears in my office that morning. Naturally, I was very concerned for her mental health, because she likely put it together what happened, because she did not send the required assignment by the deadline. This was extremely unlike her. It was a complete mistake, because the email title indicated it was the assignment. I quickly called the secretary to check her attendance right after the day started. Determined she was not in school. Then I called the counselor and told her the issue. I knew she had a relationship with the student. I did as well through coaching the improv team. We determined that it would be okay if I reached out to her. I had her phone number from previous trips slash improv events and such. And I elected to call her from the counselor's office and check in. She was hiding at the coffee shop a few blocks from the school, in full panic mode. I was able to tell her how brave she is, how proud I was of her taking this step, and how I'm here for her for support. I was nervous cause I'm a guy, but at the moment, this kid needed some love. I have simply accepted that sometimes, as a teacher, you need to be a friend or loving parent. I believe in the modern day, educators need to be a lot more than just teachers. And we should be trained as such. I've done a bunch of extra training, but it should be required for all teachers. 
In the end, I ended up going to pick her up, gave her a big hug and we went for a pretty long walk. I had told my admin what had happened, they were in full support of me stepping out for an undisclosed amount of time. We got her back to school after lunch, she sat with the counselor and me. She met with us for a few weeks, until she finally informed her family about her orientation. It didn't go great, but it didn't go as bad as we thought. She is now a young scientist with a new partner, we connect for coffee from time to time. She wrote me a letter on her grad day, that I still keep, when I need a reminder, that I'm not a terrible person. It helps me cry, when I need it. I'm so happy to be a teacher, admin now, not because I teach science. I love being in education for human moments. Those moments are what life is about. For all you struggling students out there, you got more people in your corner than you think. It does get better. I've seen it myself. Students sent coming out letter to me instead of assignment. All ends up okay.